Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into my collection video of every single Lego Golden Harry Potter figure that has been released to date. And I'm assuming it's the 20th anniversary this year that there probably won't be anything else, we haven't heard anything else. And so far we've got a total of 9 figures and we did this with ninjago so you could check out that video if you want to see the legacy golden figures for the 10 years of that but uh, yeah we're just going to go through here and i'm using the stand from the hogwarts icons collection series that you can actually check out a review of linked at the top here as well and at the end and i've already looked at that and this whole stand is included in that set and of course you get three figures being mcgonagall and dumbledore and Hagrid there on the side. The other six figures you have to get in the separate sets, and I'll mention where every single figure is from. So if I may here, let's transform them into their regular versions. Wow, magic. Oh my goodness. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I know really tacky, but yeah, these are the outfits that they're kind of all based upon except for his which we'll take a closer look at um, But it's just kind of strange that all of them all are based off of pre-existing figures Except for this and you'll see that closer with the torsos so here is the golden Harry Potter from set number seven six three eight six the Hogwarts polyjuice potion mistake and it is just the regular version that we got from the different Hogwarts moments sets. And you could see here on the back that each of the figures actually have this 20th anniversary printed onto their back with this logo. And you can see they're all like different, they've got sparkles and, and all these little glittery things. Uh, this torso is shared of course across the three students that we've gotten. And they also, all of the figures in the actual sets come with a golden minifigure plate. And of course, but when you get the Hogwarts icon set, you get the whole entire stand. So not really a need. And there's only one golden figure that has a second face print, but nothing here on the back. But of course, I do want to just show you a comparison to the regular Harry here. But here is the two figures here, the golden version and then the regular Harry, just to give you a reference between the two. Here we have Golden Hermione Granger from set number 76387, the Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter. And again, same torso, but it's great to be getting the hair piece here in gold. And you could see the face without the hair on it. And spinning it around, you could see the back printing there is the same. So here we have the golden figure and then the regular one from the Hogwarts Moments set. Here we have Golden Ron Weasley from set number 76388, the Hogsmeade Village Visit. And again, same torso and the hair here is in gold. And then here we have his little face there and again, nothing here on the back and then here is the regular ron and what's interesting and we've never really gotten a proper answer why the pupils are so large on that face but it's just kind of interesting to see like what a regular ron face would look like without those giant pupils there on the left also just looking at the face like it is a different face print and expression so that's kind of interesting as well here we have the Golden Voldemort from set number 76389, the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. And he doesn't have as many sparkles, or I don't know, maybe it's not as noticeable. But even just looking at the printing, it is very, very simple here. There's not much detail or anything like that. But spinning it around here, no back dress printing or anything like that. And it is printed onto the torso again. I don't know, I just find this really interesting to do these comparisons to see like what colors they picked to do on the golden figures, like specifically looking at the eyes and they're using like a flesh color there and then what they chose to do on the left. Like it's just very fascinating to me and also that they chose to do the version from the CMF series and not one from a set I think is also really interesting. He's only been in one other set anyways. So yeah, just kind of crazy that they went all the way back to 2018 for this design. Here we have Golden Dumbledore, and this is from set number 76391, the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition, and it's just, yeah, it's it's very interesting. You'll see the comparison to the other figure, but it's really great to be getting the beard in gold, as well as that piece introduced from the Series 2 last year, but it is a very detailed figure, but we're going to remove all this so that you can get a better look here at the face and the torso printing and just seeing how detailed it is and spinning it around. Nothing here on the back besides the logo, same with on the dress. So here is what the golden figure is, I guess, 
kind of based off of i don't know it's very interesting like the hat there even down to the stars is the same i think that the face is very similar if not the same as well same with the beard but then the torso is where it gets different here so you could see here just like even on the beard i don't think there's any detail on the beard i mean it is covered up so that's kind of interesting that they removed that but the smirk is the same and the glasses and the eyebrows are very similar they removed one like wrinkle on the head but again the torso here is also really interesting like it's not the same outfit which i just find really strange given that like down to the hat here at the top with the star placements and all that it's the exact same and here is the golden professor mcgonagall from set number 76391 the hogwarts icons collectors edition and this is just so detailed and you'll see the comparison in a second but uh, it's great to be getting that hair and hat combo introduced earlier this year in all gold which is pretty neat and the back here nothing new and comparing these two, it's the exact same outfit. Honestly, I think that this is probably the most detailed golden figure just because like they did the entire pattern here, which is just really crazy. And interestingly enough, like looking at the figure on the left with the golden version, they added cheekbones there on the side, which I think is really interesting where on this figure there isn't. But like the smile is the exact same and we're just going to take this off so you can get a better look at like the whole face just because of the shading and all that. But it is very similar if not the exact same just minus the cheekbones but even down to the torso printing a few wrinkles is removed here on the left but besides that it is very very similar. Here is the Golden Hagrid from set number 76391, the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition and you could see here that the torso is really detailed and i love the copper usage here also just crazy that they decided to literally take all the new pieces that they had introduced for hagrid back in 2018 and just make them all in gold and down to the umbrella which is really really great you could see the positioning here of the 20th anniversary logo here on the back which of course he needs nothing on the back of the head but you could see his face here which looks really great and the torso oh my goodness i love the different shades of gold and the copper here here are the two versions of Hagrid here, and this is what it's based off of. So they did remove a couple of the different lines and things like that. And you'll see like it is a little bit less detailed, even like there's not a second trim there on the jacket. But it is based off of the figure here on the right that we first got back in 2018. And removing the hair, if it decides to cooperate, you could see that it is the exact same face that they have just transferred over into gold. Next up here, we have Golden Professor Snape from set number 76392, the Hogwarts Wizard chess set. And it is a very simple figure, no leg printing or anything like that, which I find kind of interesting. But I mean, the figure it's based off of doesn't have anything, you'll see in a second. But I love getting the hair here in gold. I think that's pretty neat. And the face is really, really just, oh, I've always loved that face. But spinning it around here on the back, you could see the back torso printing and head printing so here is the figure that it's based off of a couple of different wrinkles have been removed as well as i think just even the face like the eyebrows are differently positioned which is kind of interesting but it is what it is based off of from the hogwarts moment sets from january and then very lastly here we have the golden professor quarrel from set number 76395 the hogwarts first flying lesson and i will stand by and defend this figure's inclusion for being one of the golden figures now that we have the complete set and i still would have said this and i said this back then but he is very important he was the first villain of the first film and i think if we were going to remove anyone from the golden figures it should be voldemort because technically speaking here Voldemort is included here on the back of this face. Look at the detail there on that. That looks absolutely phenomenal. I love that it is in that gold on top of the pearl gold. Looks really, really great. But I also just want to mention, this is the first ever character in all of LEGO history to have a second face. So who better to include for a golden figure than Professor Coral? I stand by that. 20 years ago for the Philosopher's Stone, or I guess the Sorcerer's Stone, whatever version you call it, I think it's very important that we did get him in a golden figure. And here's the comparison. I think that like the torso is very, very similar, if not the exact same minus the sparkles, but uh, the face here, and also just getting the gold turban is really great. I didn't mention that before, but uh, you could see here the face 
It's a little different with the eyebrow positioning, but spinning it around here because this is what you really want to see the comparison. It's very interesting. It is a brand new face that they designed. Like this one's on an angle here on the left, but this one's a lot more straight on, which I think is very interesting. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that I find the, the differences and the similarities so fascinating. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review slash collection of every single golden figure. And as I was just like switching between characters, I accidentally put the golden hair onto Hagrid. And I was like, that looks hilarious. So let's just dye all their hair. Well, uh, sorry, too soon, buddy. But uh, anyways, I just thought that was really funny that they all looked like, you know, they all just dyed their hair gold I, I i don't know i think it looks really funny i just thought that i would share it all with you but anyways everyone i would love to hear your thoughts which golden figure is your favorite which one would you like to go out and get if you could just pick one but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one